Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our optional bug fix C release updates rolling out for November for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the updates were pushed out late yesterday in my region on the 21st of November. Now, just a quick side note before we have a look at the update for Windows 10. Because of the holiday season um, next month, at the end of December, these are our last optional updates for the year for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And that's something I have posted on previously, but just to give you a quick heads up, so there won't be any non-security preview releases for the month of December 2024. And our next optional updates for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 will roll out towards the end of January next year, 2025. So just giving you a quick heads up just to keep us all on the same page. Now, the updates are optional, so you don't have to install the update unless you have this toggle turned on and then the update will become a compulsory mandatory update which will be downloaded and installed automatically. And for Windows 10, for this month, the update is KB5046714. Now, just another quick heads up. I always suggest not installing optional updates that roll out towards the end of the month if there's nothing wrong with your system. Only install these updates if you are finding issues with your system. Obviously, I install them for the purpose of this channel because what happens is after the update rolls out, it's a preview update. So Microsoft does it can do a little bit more work before it rolls out as a compulsory update with the Patch Tuesday update the next month. So they can cause issues. More issues are caused by these optional updates that roll out at the end of the month than with the Patch Tuesday updates themselves, according to my experience. So always just keep that in mind. Now, for this month, it's quite a minor update. We only get five bug fixes, two of which Microsoft has highlighted. And the first fix is for app list backups, where Win32 shortcuts might not back up to the cloud. And the next one is also quite similar, where there's a fix for copying cloud files. So when you drag and drop files from a cloud files provider folder, it might result in a move instead of a copy. So that's quite an important fix because moving instead of copying could cause you to lose your data. So that's an important little issue that's been addressed there. So those are the two highlights. And then we get three bug fixes because this is a non-security um, update, obviously. And the next fix is for motherboard replacement, where Windows did not activate after you replace the motherboard. That's also quite important. And then there's a fix for country and operator settings asset, where the update brings profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. And then there's a fix for RPP printers, Internet print, Printed Protocol printer, where Windows stopped responding when you use an RPP USB printer. So that's also quite another important fix. And that's it, guys. There's no new features. And that's more or less what's happening in this final optional update for Windows 10, KB5046714. And if you do decide to install the update, just a quick look at the build upgrade by heading to Winver. Just doing a search for the About Windows menu. And for Windows 10 22H2, the OS build has been bumped up to 19045.5198 with this point release update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.